In this question, a rhombus is given whose area is given to you as 96 cm square. And if D1 and D2 are the two diagonals, then the length of one of the diagonals is also given to you and that is equal to 16 cm. Right? Then we need to find the side, let's say A is the side of rhombus, side of that rhombus, that need to be calculated. Right? Now, since we have a rhombus, let's say like this. Know the property of rhombus? All the sides of a rhombus are equal. So if this is A, then this is also A. And this side is also A. And this side is also A. Right? And if, let's say, P, Q, there is Q, R, and S is the rhombus. Rhombus is P, Q, R, S equal to rhombus. Right? We know the property of a rhombus that if the diagonals of a rhombus are D1 and D2, right? Let's say they intersect each other at O, then they intersect each other at 90 degree. Right? And not only they intersect each other at 90 degree, they bisect each other. Right? So, P, O equal to R, O equal to D1 by 2. This is D1 by 2 and this is D1 by 2, right? And SO equal to QO equal to D2 by 2, right? Diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. This is equal to this. And this side is equal to this. Bisect each other at 90 degree, right? Now, area of a rhombus equal to half into D1 into D2. D1 is 16, A is 96. Therefore, 96 equal to 1 by 2 into 16 into D2. So, 2, 8. Therefore, 96 by 8. That is the length of D2. D1 is this one. Let's say entangle POS. Apply the Pythagoras theorem. A square equal to so D2 by 2. D2 by 2 whole square plus PO is D1 by 2. So it's D1 by 2 whole square. D1 is 16. Is 12. 12 by 2 whole square plus 16 by 2 whole square. Since D1 equal to 16 centimeter and D2 equal to 12 centimeter. Therefore, A square 12 by 2, 6, 6 square plus 8 square, 36 plus 64. Taking a square root in both the sides. A is equal to root over of 100 is equal to 10 centimeter. A equal to 10 centimeter. So this is the side of rhombus.